of my very favorite exercises that will completely revolutionize your practice and the way you teach people how to have better posture is called shoulder drops. It's super easy to do. Again, like most of my exercises, they can do it anywhere, anytime, and nobody will even know they're exercising. So we're trying to fix the shoulders far apart and the slouchy posture, right? Most people, they're kind of like this. So in order to fix that, you have to do the opposite of that. Well, most people don't know which muscles to use to do the opposite of that, so that's what we're gonna teach today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the muscles that connect to the bottom of her shoulder blades and down. So we've got the lower trap and we've got the latissimus dorsi, which is a wonderfully strong muscle that goes all the way down to her hips. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have her practice bringing her shoulder blades down towards my fingers. And that's how I teach it as well. I say, okay, Dina, bring your shoulder blades down towards my fingers and relax. Now she's really well trained. She's been doing these a very long time. Most of the time what you're gonna get is this, where they squeeze their shoulder blades together and think they're actually dropping them. So then you go, okay, well that didn't work out real well. Let's restructure, put your hands there, give them something to reach for. Sometimes I even push my fingers against her shoulder blades and make her push them down. Push, 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 push. There you go, and relax and push them down. Great, so she starts to really feel where that muscle is. This is a very complicated exercise, but once they own it, it's simple to do. They can do it anywhere, but at first they have to get their brain and that muscle reconnected because their brain has been talking to their pecs because it's been pulling them forward and it's been talking to those upper traps a lot. So the brain and the upper traps and the pecs are good friends. The brain and the latissimus dorsi and the lower traps haven't spoken in some time. So we're reintroducing them and making them have a better relationship. So go ahead and pull down, beautiful, and relax. Now you notice she's not arching her lower back, she's keeping it nice and flat. That's another thing you'll see. People are gonna pull their shoulder blades down and stick out their belly thinking that that's accentuating that motion. Now it's a very subtle motion and you need to encourage them that it is incredibly subtle so that they get it. So again, pulling down and relaxing and pulling down. What this does, go ahead and pull down and hold for me. It makes this muscle up here super squishy, nice and relaxed, so that this upper trap muscle, the muscle that we're all overusing every day, gets a much needed vacation. So it's in Hawaii, hanging out, having a Mai Tai, while the latissimus dorsi, which is much bigger and stronger and more stable, is doing all of the work to create this beautiful posture for Miss Dina here. So do shoulder drops, just like all of them, 50 to 100 reps every day, throughout the day. So like 10 an hour, again, every stoplight, they'll stop, they get to do some shoulder drops and then they'll relax and then they'll get to go again. So every stoplight, every stop sign, every time they look at their favorite clock, every time they see their favorite color, what other triggers you want to come up with are fine. Just so throughout the day, they're teaching those muscles to re-engage. That way, they've got a stable platform for the neck, takes all the neck pain and headaches away, and it also engages these muscles so that the posture stays like this even without being conscious of their posture.